Section 2, numbers 3 through 6. Okay, here we go. It says, number 3, if this page was folded along the dotted line in the figure above, the left half of the letter W would exactly coincide with the right half of W. Which of the following uh, letters as shown uh, cannot be folded along the vertical line so that the left half would coincide with the right half? Okay, well, if I drew this one, you just this is pretty easy to see. If I drew a line right down here, which one's symmetrical on both sides? A is, B is, C is, D is. This one's not. It's not symmetrical. It's choice E. Okay, moving down to number four. Okay, it says uh, in the figure above, uh, the lines L and K intersect at point Q. Okay, it says if M equals 40, I'm going to go over here and slip in a 40. And it says if P equals 25, okay, 25, what's the value of X? Okay, piece of cake, here we go. If this is 40 right here, look at this line right here and this line right here. Intersecting lines form congruent vertical angles. This angle's 40, so this angle over here is 40. So uh, this guy's got to be 25 plus 15 to get me 40, so x must be 15. Okay. Notice right here it says the figure is not drawn to scale. When it's not drawn to scale, most chances it is not drawn to scale. And here it's it's clearly not drawn to scale because these guys look like they're congruent to each other. But x equals 15. Choice A. Okay. Number five. Okay, number five, given a chart. Okay, got some x, y values, and it says uh, which of the following equations satisfies the five pairs of numbers listed above? Well, this one, if you had no clue how to do this, you guys, this is one of the ones where you can just plug in the, uh, the choices. You can plug in the choices and figure out which one's going to satisfy this. And everyone can get that. It will take you a lot longer to do it that way, but that's okay. Um, uh, this one is an is a easy to medium difficulty because it just takes time to plug in the numbers, but most people can get them. But this is what I would do. I, I would see how much it's changing in X all the time. As I go from here to here, it's, going, it's rising by 2, and when I go over here, it rises by 6. So my change in Y and change, I like to do a triangle for change. My change in Y to my change in X, at least with these guys, is going to be uh, plus 6 over plus plus 2, which equals 3. Okay, let's see if it's consistent with the next one. This one goes up 1, so as this one goes up 1, this one goes up 3. So there I get 3 over 1, which is the same. This ends up being a linear equation. My slope is change in y over change in x, which is just um, 3 over 1. That's my slope. So here we go. I know this y equals mx plus b. I know it's not choice A. I know it's not choice D. I know it's not choice E. So it's got to be B. Or it, There it is, right there. It's that one right there. And I know that this is my, my b right there when x equals 0. Uh, the, your y coordinate is b all the time. So there it is. Moving along. Saving some time on the SAT. Okay, this next one. Another chart. These charts uh, scare students a lot. Um, and I can understand why, especially when you get into the word problems and charts also. Let's go through this one. The circle graph above shows how David's monthly expenses are divided. If David spends $450 per month for food, how much does he spend per month on his car? Okay, let's go up to the chart. It says, it says food right here. This 25% represents how much he's spending right here. So that 25% means uh, uh, he's spending $450. So 25% is a fourth of his total. So a quick way to do this, there's probably three or four correct ways. I think a quick way to do this is, is to multiply that 450 times four, and that'll tell us what his total expenditures are. Because this is uh, one fourth of that, so if I multiply it by four, it'll tell me. Uh, 20 care of the 2, I get 1800 That's his total expenditures. Let's go back and answer it. It says, how much does he spend per month on his car? So now his car is 20%. So now I'm only going to do 20% of 1800 which is a multiplication problem. Whoops, 1800 So 0.20 uh, times 1800 uh, and I get, uh, I get 360 Choice C. Okay.